What's up guys, this is G with TestDrive and today I'm going to talk about a problem that I've had on my 2018 Model 3 uh, since ownership and I'm not sure if you ever run through puddles, but I have certainly and what happened one time is I was going through a storm and there was actually a small tornado, but uh, that's another story. I was going through and the water splashed up I believe and what happened was I started hearing this awful noise while I was driving and I had to stop over. And what I noticed was the bottom, what we call the skid plate, is actually made out of kind of like a stronger cardboard-like material, like a composite, right? And it just kind of tears, and what happens, it'll just drag uh, beneath your feet. But we're gonna show you how to replace it. We have this two right here. These are made out of aluminum, and not only that, it actually comes with a, like a sound dampening material over here. It's pretty simple, but you can see this is the piece that breaks a lot. So for mine, what happened was uh, this area actually ripped right here on the, the left side or my left. And what happened was this was driving across and it was causing issues. One thing that is, if you just keep it like that, uh, what's going to be a problem is it might drag and damage something else while it, I don't know, gets pushed up or something like that. So we're going to show you how to remove this. It's really, really easy. All you need is a 10 millimeter bolt ratchet. So we're gonna be using this. We'll probably speed it up, but let's get all the bolts out. All right guys, so I finally got it off. This is under there. So why is this really important to fix up or to cover it up? Because you have a very important part, the drivetrain right here. This is a real little motor and it's right here. So uh, this is kind of why I find a lot of importance in making sure it's covered from the elements. All right, so just got this off and you can see the difference, right? This is metal, this is aluminum, um, obviously black coated. Um, and then this one's like a composite steel, right? So honestly, it's a very flexible material, but it also has a lot of chance for ripping. I've had to replace mine twice um, in my Tesla Model 3, and I've had my car since 2018 July. So that's pretty significant. That's like once a year, right? All right, so you, it's best if you just put it on your belly and you just kind of place it and find a good fit. Just like that. I have a lift. I probably should have put it a little bit back, but it's okay. It's kind of an easy fit. So what you want to do is once you get the uh, holes lined up, um, what you should do is just start putting this and hand tighten it. And you're, what you're doing is just kind of putting it into place. And I'm going to tighten it later. And then what I'd like to do is once I have like maybe about three screws in, you notice I started with the middle one. I am going to tighten it. You don't have to tighten it all the way. But just so that I don't have to keep holding this. And then I'm going to probably just put one more right here. All right, so you're just going to do that. And you can see it's held. And then we're just going to go ahead. So I pretty much got everything. It is super solid, super strong. Uh, no water is really gonna be an issue for this. All right, so I'm under the front part of the car and the really the only difference is this is all 10 mil in the front and in the middle. And this one is actually gonna be 15 mil, okay? So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all the 10 and then I'm gonna get rid of the 15. We're gonna go ahead, just like the, the back one, the easiest way is to kind of get it down your belly, and then you just kind of line it to the best of your ability. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the existing bolts. Go ahead and 
start aligning the rest. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. So one thing about this particular product is this is aluminum. So if say, let's say like this one, for example, was slightly bent. Uh, once you put the bolt, everything kind of like slides out the way it's supposed to. So no worries if it seems weird. But again, I'm just putting all the bolts first. So one thing that's going to be different is typically it comes with these bolts and uh, they're not actually going to work out the way it's designed like this. So what you want is you're going to get those two parts, it's going to be a washer and you're going to get this little thing and this is a T40, right? So I have my drill right here, put it right here and I'm just going to put that in there. You don't have to over tighten. I mean, this isn't gonna go anywhere, right? It's super tight. This is awesome because this is the last time you pretty much have to change this and you don't have to worry about dangling, breaking or ripping or anything like that. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below or talk to us on social. Until next time, we'll see you later. I'm gonna get under, I'm gonna get out of here now.